So these are the directions for figuring out how to plan your budget and the planning your budget activity. When you look, go right down here to where it says these percentages. That's the most important part of this activity. This is what most budgeting apps will recommend for you to spend your money every month. You shouldn't spend more than 25% of your of your income on a house. You shouldn't spend more than 15% of your income on insurance. 10% on entertainment, 10% on food, 5% on transportation, etc. So this is how they recommend you set aside the money that you need. The ones I've highlighted in green are the easy ones. They're the ones where like, yeah, I want to spend money on a cool place to live. I want to spend money on having fun. I want to spend money on personal stuff. But we have to remember that on top of these fun things that are in green here, we also need to have money to pay for the electric bill. Or we need to have money to pay for transportation or to buy food or insurance. So we need to have a budget to make sure we have enough to cover the necessities and then we can spend stuff on the cool stuff that we want. So I'm going to imagine that I have an income of $5,000. Your number is going to be different. And you're on your worksheet just to make sure that you're not just copying my numbers down you're actually putting in the formulas and here's how we figure out so if I earn five thousand dollars a month 25 percent of it I can spend on an apartment well how much is that Mr. Mack that's what you've got to tell me so I click in this box right here get my little cursor to pop up and I'm going to type a formula whenever I type a formula I start with the equal sign equals what's my income well, if I look at column F, row 28, I can see that my income is in box F28. So I type in F28, and you'll notice that a little dotted line pops up around that box, because that's the box I selected. I'm going to multiply F28, so I hold down the shift key and hit the number 8, because we can't use X. When the computer sees x, it thinks the letter x and not multiply. So I do the star symbol to multiply. And I want to multiply for housing by this number. It's column C, row 17. So I type C, 17. And you'll notice that box changes color a little bit to show me I typed in that box number. I hit return. And there's the amount that I can spend on housing this month, $1,250. That's what you're going to do for this whole chart. We'll do the fun stuff. We'll do entertainment and transportation. How much will I get to spend on entertainment? We'll do the green ones. Well, I type in the same for a formula, so I'm doing the equal sign first. And then I'm using the same income number, column F, row 28. I'm going to multiply again, so I hold down the shift key and hit the number 8. This time I look at the entertainment box, and I can only spend 10% of my income on entertainment. Now I can type in the code, column C, row 19, or I can just click on that box, and it puts it in there automatically for me. That's a little easier, isn't it? I hit return, and there's my entertainment budget for this month. I have $500 to spend on entertainment. How much can I spend on personal stuff, the other green box here? Well, I do equals F28 again, highlights my income box, multiply it by this time. What's beside personal is C22, that is 5%. I only have $250 to spend on, on that stuff. And that's what you know. You've got to fill in the rest of these categories. You're going to have to do them all because your income number is going to be different than mine. But that's the activity for today.